Thanks to all our viewers for tuning back into a CSE listed company update. Today I'm talking to John Dwyer, who's the chairman and CEO of a company called Wonder Gaming Corp uh, that was listed on the CSE. Wonder Gaming is currently going through a name change and a symbol change. So by the time you watch this video, uh, the company will be known as Game Lancer Gaming Corp. They will be trading under the symbol GMNG. And we'll be talking about all the stuff that's been happening behind the scenes. So, John, thank you so much for taking the time to join me today. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Thanks so much for having me. Of course. John, why don't we start by um, you giving our viewers just a brief introduction to, um, obviously, Game Lancer Gaming Corp. There might be some viewers who are not familiar with what you guys do. So I'll, I'll let you take the floor here. Thank you so much. So Game Lancer is a massive acquisition for us. We've been a partner of Game Lancers for quite some time. For clarity, they've built the largest gaming network in social media across TikTok, Snapchat, and Instagram. And that's increasingly important in our world because the gaming universe doesn't just function around people actually gaming or watching somebody else game, which is now uh, even, even you know the most ardent anti-gamer uh, and somebody who doesn't like watching other folks game, they're now finding it as fascinating as our audience does. But uh, the gaming community spends a fascinating amount of time, upwards of three and a half hours across social media and the gaming landscape, liking, commenting, and sharing videos. What Game Lancer has done that is so transformational is that they own a number of titles across Instagram, Snapchat, and gaming, not the least of which being the at gaming title. So when you go on Google or Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, and you enter the word gaming, you're going to come to our pages. So we own 22 channels. Um, uh, with 26.5 million followers, 1.1 billion monthly views, and uh, the hashtag Game Lancer itself has almost uh, 6 billion uh, uh, views uh, to date. And this organization is a fascinating one for us because we've been a partner of theirs on a revenue split uh, since Q2 of last year, working with brands such as Samsung and a number of others. So to bring them under the Wonder umbrella and rebrand as Game Lancer is a massive opportunity for us. That's a massive footprint that you mentioned that uh, the platform Game Lancer has. And uh, it must be really exciting times for you and your team to, to you know, you've, you've been listed on the CSC for close to a year now. Actually, it'll be a year next month. Uh, I think you listed May 7th of 2021. So walk us through through that journey on, on you and your team kind of going through those motions and now getting to this point. Yeah, so Wonder Gaming went public with the intention of acquiring assets in the gaming world or the gaming periphery. So you saw us acquire Hot Dot Media, which was uh, an influencer network, which allowed us access to over 180 different gamers and influencers that we use in our media campaigns. Then we acquired a company called EGI, which is a fully built out white labeled NFT platform, which made us the only publicly traded company. And I still think to date we are uh, until very shortly from now. I think there's a few more new issuers coming out in the space, uh, publicly traded NFT companies minting and selling NFTs. We have a variety of different products coming out from uh, products with the NHLPA and the NHL Alumni Association, some of the Toronto Raptors. We're minting NFTs as the exclusive partner for John Tavares, the, uh, the captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs. And of equal and if not more importance, we are a Shopify partner. Uh, I think we are the fourth Shopify partner and we are now currently the only Shopify partner globally that's minting and selling NFTs on Solana and Ethereum. So a huge technological leap for us. And what makes this ultimately, in terms of the, the relevance of Game Lancer, so important is that there's a lot of uh, companies in gaming or esports right now talking about the size of their network. And they say, we have 190 million views, we have 200 million views. But what constitutes that network? That's the important question that investors need to be asking themselves. Because often what it is, it's an aggregation of a number of different gamers and influencers who have a relationship with that company. But these aren't owned and operated channels. So they can't turn the switch on and off when they want to do media campaigns. They actually have to go to the influencers, ask them, set up a time, and more importantly, pay them and arrange an agreement such that they're going to show up to a stream or to an activation on time to promote whatever brand they're working with. With the acquisition of Game Lancer, we own the network. We're like CBS. We're like NBC. So when we decide to work with brands like Samsung, who we work with, or any number of others out there, and they come to us like Samsung has and says, hey, we've got a brand 
brand new gaming monitor, the Samsung Odyssey. We want to run a campaign to get X amount of million views, X amount of click throughs, and we want to host it across TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat. Not only are we the only entity in gaming that can provide that aggregation of a meaningful audience on those platforms, we own the channels. So we don't have these externalities and these costs associated with production, like hiring influencers, because it's happening in our network. And I, I really uh, ask everyone to go and do their due diligence and see if you can find another platform like Game Lancer across this landscape. Uh, uh, TikTok is the number one website on the planet, and Game Lancer is the fastest growing platform on TikTok. We're growing by 60 to 100,000 followers a day, with 56% of that community in the United States. Find me another company that has that kind of range and depth of commitment from folks in the United States, the most important market in the world, and, and I'll be shocked. You know, that, that's a massive number, John. And obviously, you know, everybody wants to have that engaged audience, which you, you and your platform naturally have. And so it makes things a lot easier. What are some of the constraints that you might come across when you're trying to build this? Yeah, I mean, we, we don't necessarily look at it through the lens of constraints. I think right now, obviously, it's been tough for, for small caps across the board, and I think it's going to continue to be for the balance of the year. Wonder Gaming is very fortunate. We do not have any debt on the books. Uh, we recently just finished a $10 million financing, which was led by the Demeray family. Uh, my business partner, Max Demeray, uh, and his family led this round. We had tremendous support from groups like TRE Advisors that wrote a big check as well. And so so to be able to pull that off in a market like this, which gave us the necessary capital to go out and acquire Game Lancer, we think that's a huge move. Um, we've got a number of term sheets at the moment that we're looking at as it relates to debt, which is going to give us growth capital. I think the rest of this year is largely going to be defined as a bit of a war of attrition for, for companies like ours from a cash perspective. And those companies that have cash on hand, it can continue their acquisition strategy, continue to be intelligently acquisitive as we intend to be, and we're cashed up to be is going to be really important about separating uh, companies uh, from the winners and, and those that are going to continue to struggle. And I think most importantly, what we want the market to see is what our customers see. When, when media agencies and big multinational media companies like, like some of the biggest banks here in Canada, which we're engaging with, we're really excited to speak publicly about that shortly. And of course, Samsung, who we've done activations with, and a number of other clients, when they come to us, what they have is a unique value proposition. I encourage everybody watching this video, go on to TikTok, look up the word gaming, look up the word gamer, look up Game Lancer. You can see how big our network is. We're populating videos every day. And, and of equal importance, we have a fascinating array of videos uh, and, and a growing business on Snapchat. So Snapchat last year launched Snap Gaming. We have five shows. Uh, our number one show is eGirl, which is all about empowering women in gaming. We've made 70 to 73 episodes uh, across, um, across the, the Snap Gaming uh, app. And uh, that comes with a fascinating uh, revenue structure because it's a rev share with Snapchat. So they're naturally incentivized to bring advertisers to the table because every time they make a dollar, we make a dollar and vice versa. So that's a great uh, opportunity for us to see MRR on the balance sheet. Uh, Game Lancer, which, uh, you know, was publicly stated was uh, was generating upwards of 250,000 USD and growing per month as, as early as October from this one revenue silo alone. So you're going to see some great numbers coming out of us this year uh, and, um, and, and some big acquisitions on the horizon. Yeah. John, I, I think it would be unfair to not talk about this because um, you and your team have a fantastic advisory board. You've all signed yourself with certain athletes, entertainers. You want to talk a little bit about that so our audience is more familiar with it? Sure. Yeah. So, I mean, we've got a great group around the table. Uh, we have an engagement with CAA uh, such that we uh, work with uh, their entire NHL roster, which includes Sidney Crosby, Nathan McKinnon, and a number of others. And that's not just on our media side, but on NFTs as well. The first uh, engagement of that sort was with John Tavares, the captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs. 
We've had a ton of fun working with Chris Boucher, the Toronto Raptors. We've done a number of activations with him, most recently both him and uh, and our man Fred Van Vliet, who, who uh, you know, big up to Fred for making the All-Star game this year. He had his first triple-double. We did a Samsung activation, I believe it was on the 8th of January, uh, on a Saturday afternoon with Chris, Chris Boucher and Fred Van Vliet, uh, about the Samsung 32-inch uh, Odyssey monitor and the new SSD. Uh, not trying to do a product shout out, just, just give it the reality of this campaign. Yeah. And um, that was the day after Fred had his first triple double. And man, he came into the studio with our team, with our joy box curation team that was all here in Toronto. And just, just the electricity in the room and to be around these guys and have that translate to being on camera talking about our products. The, you know, the client is absolutely delighted. So you're going to see a lot more coming up with Fred, Chris Boucher, uh, John Tavares and the group at CAA. We're just delighted. We, we have so many programs and, and, and um, and activations and campaigns going to roll out throughout the balance of the year. And now we've got our own network to broadcast it across. So we're we're really excited. You know, it is definitely exciting times. I can tell just by the passion you have when you talk about this, uh, how exciting it is. But a lot of times, you know, the work that happens behind the scenes does not get highlighted. And that's why we're here to let our viewers and audience members know that, you know, even though uh, there's a lot happening well not even though but there's a lot happening behind the scenes that then goes into lois and acquisitions like yeah. game lancer for instance yeah. now i i want to talk about the broader picture because gaming is 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 an industry that is so fast paced you blink and it's changing there's new innovations new technology that comes across so you and your team have been spending a little bit of time at different conferences i think across the world if i'm not mistaken getting to have your feet on the ground, getting to meet the people with the new tech, finding new platforms. Talk to us a little bit about what that ecosystem is looking like in 2022 and what new trends are that you and your team are seeing. Yeah, I mean, in Canada, you don't have to go that far. Canada has some amazing companies. You look at GameSquare, ESE, Overactive Media, Enthusiast Gaming. These are fantastic businesses, and we all work in the same ecosystem. We we may compete together uh, on the media vertical, some companies more so than others, but there's a lot of very unique product technology and content coming out of Canada. The gaming industry is one that is constantly looking for innovation, and what we're seeing right now is the real winners are emerging in um, in a data first world. It's understanding who your audience is, who your constituency of viewers is, and consistently providing them a product that they wanna see. This is not a world where people are consuming media in a passive way. You don't put on a baseball game or a hockey game and sit back where you can have your phone in your hand, you're looking through TikTok, you're going to commercial. And again, you're being very passively advertised to. When people are gaming or they're on social media looking at gaming content, you are engaged. And if you're looking at it in environments, and this is really important, if you're on YouTube, for instance, you're being just bombarded with programmatic advertising, banner ads, uh, pop-up ads, you're, you're having your video paused consistently for other advertising that may not be germane to your, you know, your likes and what you're out there purchasing. But on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok, for instance, you don't see, you don't see programmatic advertising. You're seeing an uninterrupted viewing experience. And so that's where you're finding a lot of the gamers going. Uh, and there are some businesses that have done a great job of doing it. I'm fascinated to see what FaZe Clan does when they come out uh, with their IPO going out at a billion dollar valuation. It's going to be a game changer for the industry. Well said, John. I, and I really appreciate you taking the time to not only educate myself, but our viewers a little bit about the gaming section uh, sector, I should say, and what these new innovations are. Uh, a big kudos to you and your team for all the hard work that has gone in since listing about a year ago to now, you know, this major LOI uh, acquiring uh, Game Lancer and, and, and then moving forward. So I'm, I'm excited to see what you and your team have in 2022. Is there anything, any milestones that you're able to talk about that our viewers can look out for? Yeah, I mean, we're going to be providing some guidance shortly on our revenue targets for the balance of the year. I think people are going to be very happy to see some of the engagements we have. Um, you know, we're as patriotic as, as the next Canadian, but a huge portion of our business is in the United States. 
Um, we're working diligently towards an uplisting. We're working diligently towards having our headquarters in Los Angeles. It's important to note that that Game Lancer was founded in LA. Uh, our sales team is headquartered in LA at Wonder. And, and this is a company we've been working with for over you know nine months now. So um, it's very much a hand in glove fit. So you're going to see big names, big names across the United States. And we are going after some big budget, multi-quarter RFPs. And we're going to be the new kids on the scene that are shaking things up and getting those big contracts across the finish line. I love it. I love that vision. Now, where can our viewers go to uh, not only find out about you, your team, the advisory board, but keep up with your news that's going to be coming out later this year? Yeah, so go to gamelancer.com. Uh, and again, if you're on social media, uh, or if you're not, uh, make sure to download TikTok, get Snapchat, get Instagram, and look up our handles. You can see daily content that we're putting out. One of the, the trickiest things about gaming and esports is, is that it's a story that a lot of people that aren't part of our universe find difficult to understand. Game Lancer and our value proposition is very straightforward. We own a massive audience across 22 channels, and we are plugging in the world's largest brands to allow them to interact with that Gen Z and millennial category. And again, with 56% of our audience in the United States and upwards of 85% of our audience in Canada, the United States, the UK and Australia, we are ground zero for all things that brands uh, and advertisers and media agencies want. So I'm just so excited. Go on to TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, look at the handles gaming, gamer, game Lancer, and also check out eGirl and you're going to see our channels growing. Well articulated message, John. I look forward to having you back on in the next little while, talking more about some of the new stuff that you and your team have developed. Uh, to everybody watching, you have been listening to Mr. John Dwyer. He is the chairman and CEO of Game Lancer Gaming Corp. Uh, that trades on the CSE under the symbol GMNG. Thanks again, John.